so I'm so nervous to open this up. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right, now I'm getting a little more excited. All right, so I wanna start this one way back at the order process, because there's some important info here that I really wanna share with you guys. After selecting the shaker kit for your model year, you're faced with three shaker choices. Matte, silver, and unfinished for those of you who want to paint hydro dip or vinyl the shaker. I chose the matte, which has a rough finish, but matches very close to the chin spoiler and other matte black trim on my scat pack. Now, it's important to note that that rough finish um, on the matte shaker hood grabs like microfiber towels and you know other stuff so you can't we can't really scrub it with a sponge or something like that I wind up using uh, detail brushes to clean it uh, if you happen to hit it with your microfiber towels while drying you know and you get some lint or something on it no worries a lint roller will kind of quickly clean that up caring for the matte shaker has been cake uh, I only really clean it every few washes rain water pretty much keeps it looking good and it's important to note that the Hemi 392 Hemi badging is not included in this kit. Uh, I picked that up from Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description for you guys if uh, you're interested. Um, now the kit gives you almost everything you need to install the shaker hood on your car. And I'll get to the details on what's in the kit and the almost a little bit later in this video. Uh, I chose to have my hood prepped and painted by Cervini's. And I heard a lot of bad things about fiberglass hoods, like they never fit without having to shave them down or rework them, uh, you know, bad angles, poor fitment, all that stuff. And of course I heard all this after I ordered the hood, so I was kind of in a small panic about my choice to have Cervini's painted for me. Uh, but when I received the hood, the fitment was perfect. Uh, it actually fit a little better than my factory hood, which uh, where the little corners in the front kind of popped up a teeny bit over the, uh, uh, the front fascia. So, there was no problems with the fitment. They did a spot on match to my pitch black paint. Uh, they did a great job prepping and painting the hood. Uh, the only regret I have is not getting the underside painted. I had assumed the gel coat that they talking about on the, on the website uh, would be very similar to the satin finish under my original hood and, and throughout my engine. Um, but as you can see here, um, I was kind of wrong. So if you're going with a prepped and painted hood from Cervini's, I highly recommend it. They do an awesome job, but also add on painting the underside as well, especially if you plan on showing the car as much as I do. Now, once you place the order, the waiting part begins. That's probably pretty much the hardest part about this whole process. Mine took a few weeks, but uh, I kind of told them to not to rush because I was going away on vacation and basically around the estimated time of delivery, I was going to be away anyway. Um, now, I want to note a few things. I see a lot of positive stuff about Cervini's online, uh, which kind of ultimately led me to my purchase of their kit. Also, uh, their Cervini's kit is a little bit larger and a little bit longer than the uh, um, OEM uh, Mopar shaker kit. And, and I'll show you uh, exactly what that looks like here. Um, but I've also seen a lot of Cervini's bashing online and read all the reviews. Um, you know, take what I'm saying to heart. And um, here's what I found with Cervini's. I found on occasion they were a little slow to respond via email at times. Uh, you know, once or twice I had to give them a call to kind of escalate. But in every instance, they did get back to me. They did get me the info and parts that I required and provided me with quick shipping. The bad experience, I had to wait a couple days. The good experience, I, I you know, especially after driving down there and meeting these guys, I really do believe they're not a company out to screw you over. They're making a great product. They're doing excellent work, and yeah, that's that. If anyone's wondering, I rented a Ram 1500 for the pickup of the Cervini's hood. This is the shaker hood, and it does fit, and it's extremely well packaged. Uh, I'll do an unboxing in a little bit, but just want to let you know if you're wondering how to get this thing home, you don't feel like paying the extra 50 bucks for a cargo van, it does fit in a large pickup. I believe this bed is uh, four feet, six inches or something like that. And uh, this hood is pretty freaking big. So just giving you a heads up, it does fit in the back of a uh, Ram 1500. All right, getting everything ready for the install. Figured I would share the unboxing with you if you guys are concerned about shipping this stuff. So in this box, we have a beautiful cover. So we 
some weather stripping. Breather filter. All right, let's talk about this breather filter here. Um, this kit comes with a half inch breather filter and the 6.4 intake manifold has a three quarter inch connection. So I had to go out to the auto parts store and pick up a few items, all less than 10 bucks total. I got six inches of three quarter inch hose, a five eighths to half inch reducer. Couldn't find a three quarter to half inch, but the five eighths fit fine. I got some hose clamps to keep everything snug. Um, once I'm done, I'm going to neaten the cuts up and, you know, with the rest of the hose and, you know, make everything look good. But I want to keep it this way because once I finish cutting the coil pack covers, uh, the breather sticks out just perfectly past the, uh, the cover and the rest is all hidden away. Wiper squirters. You're going to have to run out to the hardware store and grab a 5 30 second vacuum tubing or vacuum hose. Um, because the distance between the two windshield wiper ports is about uh, an inch and a half to two inches further apart than the stock hose will allow. So you'll have to snip the stock hose in the center and then uh, wrap the 532nd hose around it uh, just to extend it. In this picture, I'm using 732nd hose and it fit originally, but now in the winter, it's a little colder and it's falling off. So 532nd has a really good tight fit. And maybe if I need to, I might get a set of hose clamps. Again, I'll go into more detail on that on the install video. These are like all the screws and clamps for the shaker hood. We've got, uh, these are the grills for the shaker. We've got some nice lifts for the hood, weather stripping for the hood, and a beautiful aluminum grill. Bring that up here so you guys can check that out. That is really nice. Can't wait to put this in. All right, I'm gonna actually cover that back up. Because knowing me, I'll drop something on it and scratch the daylights out of it. So, Just throw the wrapper back on there. And we have an air box. And this looks like a K&N filter, but it's actually branded Cervini's, and it's an all-base filter, so I'm sure there's some maintenance on it that uh, I've got to look up. Very nice. Um, gonna have to check their website and see if there's a um, there's a maintenance kit, or if we just use the standard K&N. On their uh, website, they're saying they use a K&N filter. All right, so this is a big box. It's supposed to be the uh, shaker hood. <laughs> All right. This is fairly well packed. And UPS could potentially do a number on this if they tried, so we gotta be careful with that. Put this up here. Check that out in a minute. Nothing down there. This is the part I've been waiting for. Oh, nuts. I hate cleaning these up. Wow. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Let's check for damage. Absolutely perfect. Not a single blemish. I cannot wait to get this thing installed. It looks a lot bigger, but don't forget, only only this little space protrudes from the hood. All right. Now for the part that uh, I'm concerned about. I had this hood painted and prepped by Cervini's directly, just so I can get an idea of the full experience. I didn't get a chance to see it when I picked it up because it was extremely well packed and I really wanted to make sure I got it home safely. 
so I didn't want to undo everything. But in talking with them, this thing should exceed my expectations. The paint matched to my uh, pitch black cat pack. Excuse all my grunting, this is pretty heavy. The hood itself is about 40 pounds, I said, but it feels like there's a lot more in here than just the hood. Excuse my underwear if you see any of it. open this up. Let's do it. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right, now I'm getting a little more excited. figure out how this is in here. Nice. Okay, back to the peeling. There you go. Things to look for on the fiberglass hood would be little pock marks, little holes, um, scratches, imperfections. I mean, the whole hood looks really nice. So I see a couple little streaks, and I'm not exactly sure what those are. So before I freak out, break out some quick detail so I can uh, that's the issue. Let me see if I can get this on camera. So you'll see in the light. You see those lines. It really, I'm zoomed in, it looks a lot worse on camera actually, which is pretty cool. Alright. So I still got the overhead camera going, so I'm gonna pause this one and uh, see what happens. Alright, so right here I am totally freaking out holding myself together because the camera's running, but in my head, this hood looks terrible. I mean, they're a little exaggerated in the photos, but I mean, if you spent all that money for a painted hood and saw that, you'd pretty much freak your, your head off. I'm trying to keep it clean here. All right, so, um, it wasn't a problem. I, uh, you know, it was late at night, so I, or not late in the evening, so what I did was uh, reached out to Cervini's via email, and when they didn't call me back by 10 a.m. the next morning, which I didn't expect them to anyway, I gave them a call and I uh, spoke with Zach and he put me through to, I guess, his manager. And they told me what I thought was a crock of crap just to let it sit out in the sun. And um, so I just accepted that answer and hung up. Uh, when I got home, after the hood sitting out in the garage all day, um, it was warm, probably about 90 degrees that day. Uh, when I took a look at the hood, there was no imperfections on it. All of that completely disappeared overnight. Now I tried scrubbing it out with, uh, you know, a really good soft microfiber towel and some spray wax. Nothing happened the night before, you know, right after removing that plastic cover. But um, the following day, after letting it sit 24 hours without that cover on in the, the hot garage, the hood was perfect. And I mean perfect. You saw no residual of that. Um, whatever the plastic had left behind. It was completely gone. All right, I'm gonna kill part one right here. Um, don't forget, before you get started, run out to the store if you've got the 6.4 liter Hemi and they haven't fixed the uh, breather filter issue. You're gonna need a three quarter inch hose, a 5 8 to half inch reducer, uh, two hose clamps, and then you're also gonna need the 5 32nd hose for the windshield wiper squirters. And we're talking like $7 in parts total here. 
We're going to have, uh, I believe, one, maybe two more videos in this series to go into detail um, on only the differences between the Cervini's uh, install video, which I'll put in the upper right now, uh, and what I experienced with the 6.4 liter. The Cervini's video, really clean, really clear, uh, their way for you doing the install, and I suggest you watch that once or twice before you get started. Uh, my video is going to be all the stuff I didn't expect and, you know, me first time ever putting a hood on a car and stuff like that, you know, having fun with the alignment and stuff. Overall, this kit was really easy to install, but, you know, it's good to see a common person do it rather than this guys from Cervini's who probably have done this 50 times already. All right, so we're at that point where uh, I'll give you a couple of jobs to do right here. Uh, I want you to gently press that like button if this uh, video helped you out in any way. If you are stopping by for the first time, obviously you got to subscribe. And um, hey, thanks for watching. For one and a half miles. All right, so I'm on my way out of uh, Cervini's. Head south on North Mill Road toward Gallagher Drive. Look at the windows here. Nice, easy, painless pickup. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Weymouth Road. All right, on my way back from Cervini's. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 2.02 p.m. Every time I start recording something, consistent interruptions. It's awesome. I'll just wait it out. So we're leaving Cervini's with a bed full of stuff. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. Turn right onto Weymouth Road.